Okay, so this lesson's on a few rules of 3D inside Maya. So here we've got a pair of eyes, this grey box is a screen, and the two cubes are just the two different stereo images. So one of the main things when doing stereo is to take into account the distance between these two images. And this usually happens when looking at something really close or really far away. So we have something really far away, and the, the person watching the film has to look at that, say like something in the distance. As you can see, that's diverged the eyes. So the eyes have gone parallel. And even worse, they can go past parallel, which means it's putting strain on the muscles in the eyes because this isn't a really natural pose. And this will cause nausea and headaches and it won't be able to view the picture. And another way this can happen is if an image gets too close up. As you can see, the eyes start to cross over. Now, crossing over the eyes isn't so bad because you can deal with that in nature. When you look at things close up, they usually cross over a little bit. So it's fine to do this, but keeping something that close for quite a while or coming in and out can put strain on the eyes, so it's not good to keep something popping out at a constant. Now, another thing is if something's in distance and moving in and out, so coming closer to the viewer fast, this can be alright, but after a while this can put strain on the eyes as well because they haven't to quickly adjust between distances. Okay, so another area is if something comes close to the edge of the screen. Now if something comes close to the edge of the screen something is going to be cut off from the left eye that will, that will be visible in the right eye so when your brain tries to fuse those images together one of the images has a bit of information missing because that's past the edge of the screen. Now this can be stressful on the eyes because they can't really figure out what to do with the image but this isn't always as bad because you'll have some background images, background elements like you'll have the walls, the floor going to the edge. The main thing to keep into account is anything that the, the viewer has to look at. So if there's a character or there's an object that they have to focus on that's part of the story, keep it inside the boundary of the screen. Try not to di divert the eyes to the edge. So just keep most of the motion inside the screen. Now. They're just some basic rules. Obviously you can mess about with them. Some things like crossing the eyes you can get away with, but it's good it's a good practice to get used to them and try avoid doing that because that'll break some of the 3D effects. So in the next lesson we're gonna go through actually adding a stereo cam and some of the ways like the separation of the images. So thanks for watching.